go and turn on the TV. That's when he happened. This bald-headed legend has won our hearts playing the meekest and the meanest. You f***ing son. Shut Shut Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Ben Kingsley performances. <laughs> for this list, we're taking a look at those performances that show off this actor at his finest and or most memorable. Will I stay? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Number 10, Grinko, Trans-Siberian. Who are you? I am Detective Ilyo Grinko, Narcotic Division, and this is an Bullshit! Early... Set on the Northern Trans-Siberian Railway, this thriller showcases Ben Kingsley as a Russian narcotics officer who develops an interest in a traveling American couple who have some secrets up their sleeve. But could he also have some of his own? In Russia, we have expression, with lies, you may go ahead in the world, but you may never go back. His very presence works to build suspense and dread as the story begins to unveil a tangle of drugs and murder. Ilya, what do you want? You have your drugs. Not my drugs, Roy. With his black coat, trooper hat, and thick Russian accent, Kingsley demonstrates that in Siberia, the icy cold is not the only force to be reckoned with. In Russia now we say there are only two kinds of people. Those who live in private jet, those who live in coffee. Number 9. Dr. Roberto Miranda, Death and the Maiden. Dr. Roberto Miranda, it's very nice to meet you. At the center of this nail-biting drama set in South America is Kingsley, playing a charming and intelligent doctor who finds himself in a dire predicament. This is insane. It's, it's supposed to be a trial. You're willing to be an accomplice to kidnapping and murder too. That's also okay with you? He's tied to a chair with his life threatened by an enraged woman who claims that he blindfolded and tortured her during the old fascist regime. Had nothing to do with any beatings or tortures. Will he survive the interrogation? Is he even the right man? My God, this is some kind of game. Kingsley's brilliant performance swings us back and forth between answers as the helpless man who has only his wits to keep him alive. If I'm guilty, you'll kill me. If I'm innocent, you'll kill me. If I'm innocent, you're screwed. If I'm guilty, you'll kill me for revenge. Justice, not revenge. It's not justice, you're not dead. Number eight, Cosmo, Sneakers. Try aspirin. Flexing his acting chops as the slimy bad guy, Kingsley plays the smug criminal Cosmo, who seeks a computer program that would give him access to any and every secret computer file on Earth. Disaster. Therefore, we must have it. Although you cheer for the break-in team led by Robert Redford, whose aim is to retrieve the code-breaking program, God, it's good to see you. You can't help but like Kingsley's international villain, whose performance drips with smooth arrogance. You will give me the box right now, or I will kill you right now. Though it's good to be good, Kingsley makes it fun to be bad. There's a war out there, old friend. A world war. And it's not about who's got the most bullets. It's about who controls the information. Number seven, Bruce Pandolfini, Searching for Bobby Fischer. Josh, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine. Hi, Josh. This is Bruce. Strict, brilliant, and unwilling to yield to any other way than his, Kingsley shines in this film as a chess instructor who becomes the coach of young prodigy Josh Waitzkin. What about taking on E5? What about it? You didn't consider it. I did. You didn't. You're still not considering it. Set up. As the boy begins to warm up to unconventional chess player and hustler Vinny, played by Lawrence Fishburne, the authoritarian coach bristles, and a conflict of interest develops. Don't let him go down there to lose. That's what you can do for him. Played with unbending sincerity, we can't see anyone but Kingsley playing this supporting role with as much depth and passion. I'm honored to call myself your teacher. Number six, Georges Méliès, Papa Georges, Hugo. Come 
and dream with me. Leave it to Kingsley to bring to the screen one of the true life pioneers of French cinema, a man who built the first movie studio and dazzled his audience with technical and visual effects. We risked everything. We sold the theater and everything we had so we could build our own movie studio. Excellent. Kingsley fills the character with a sense of emotion and wonder that makes you speculate whether the real deal was anything like Kingsley's interpretation. If you've ever wondered where your dreams come from, you look around. This is where they're made. Nevertheless, watching Kingsley's depiction of the man in this historical adventure drama, particularly in sequences as a grumpy toy shop owner, makes him believable and fun to watch. You can earn your notebook. How? Come to the booth every day, I'll decide how long you must work for each item you stole. Number five, Meyer Lansky, Bugsy. There's a little matter we have to discuss. Good, because I got a little matter I want to discuss with you. Come on in, come on in. In one of the first major films to portray him as something other than a good guy, Kingsley plays the real life associate of Bugsy Siegel, mafia leader Meyer Lansky. And with the role, he proved he could be bad. I'm not excusing it, I'm explaining it, I'm a businessman. Kingsley as Lansky brought humanity to his layered role as the financial wizard and one of the few men who truly understood Bugsy on a deeper level. Famous isn't good, Ben. For Clark Gable, it's good. For Joe DiMaggio, it's good. Famous for you, it's not good. Though Kingsley was only a supporting actor in the crime drama, the Academy honored him with an Oscar nomination. And he was also nominated for a Golden Globe. It really does affect my opinion of your ability to administrate when you get yourself involved in this type of detail. Charlie, tell him what you said to me when I told you about it. What do you think I said to you? You see what I'm talking about? Number four, Colonel Masoud Amir Berani, House of Sand and Fog. My name is Berani, Colonel Berani. This drama is as heart-stirring as it is tragic. And Kingsley's portrayal of the Iranian immigrant with a family is part of what makes it as moving as it is. I will for you do nothing without my son. Nothing. Trying to rebuild his own life, as well as those of his wife and children, and working two menial jobs to make ends meet, Kingsley makes us sympathize desperately with his character. For four years we have lived a life which you could not afford and spent almost everything to marry Sarai with a good family. Though things seem to go from bad to worse when the previous owner of the house demands her home back at any cost. This is my house. I lived here and you stole this house from me, you son of a bitch. He plays the role with a quiet dignity that won him another Oscar nomination. Please God, I'm making Nasser to this woman, to Kathy Nicolo. And I do you promise, if you heal my son, I will return her father's house. Number three, Don Logan, Sexy Beast. Perhaps showcasing Kingsley at his best at being the worst, this crime flick won him another Golden Globe and Oscar nomination for his ferocious role. Why don't you just put the cigarette out? <laughs> What's that, Sancho? You want me to cut your hands off, use it as an ashtray? Playing an insane and intimidating sociopath with no self-control, Kingsley mixes black humor with genuine madness to form an intense, twisted performance. Get up, you <laughs> lazy bastard! Get out of our room! Get out, Don! Portraying the tough guy helping his boss organize one last bank heist, Kingsley seems to relish the role as the criminal that other criminals dread. A criminal that loves what he does. You will, you missed the round tree! No. Yes, round tree! No. Yes, Grosvenor! No, Don. Friday! I won't be there. You will! No, don't. Yes! 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 Number two, Mohandas Gandhi, Gandhi. I'm glad, but it will not be enough. Arguably one of Kingsley's greatest performances, he won an Oscar, Golden Globe, and BAFTA for his portrayal of the legendary peacekeeping leader of India during the first half of the 1900s. Let us take a solemn oath in his name that, come what may, we will not submit to this law. The epic biographical film takes us through the defining moments of Gandhi's life, and through them all, Kingsley is enveloped in his character so completely that we forget where he stops and Gandhi starts. Where there's injustice, 
I've always believed in fighting. The question is, do you fight to change things or do you fight to punish? For myself, I've found we're all such sinners, we should leave punishment to God. Acclaimed from almost every corner of the film world, Kingsley is neither flashy nor theatrical. Yet, he made the man come alive like no one before or after him. India lives in her villages and the terrible poverty there can only be removed if their local skills can be revived. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I'm no lawyer, Mr. Hall. You'd have to consult your solicitor. <laughs> My children playing overhead. Hello, Laurel. Who's this? Frank. Frank Valencia. From the funeral. Finally. Thomas here is an accountant for the Roxon Oil Corporation. <laughs> But I'm sure he's a really good guy. We treat them, try to heal, try to cure. And if that fails, at least we provide them with a measure of comfort in their lives. Calm. I'm looking for Itzhak Stern. Number one, Itzhak Stern, Schindler's List. Are you Itzhak Stern or not? I am. Where can we talk? Superior to other entries on this list, due not only to Kingsley's superior talent, but also his memorable character in an incredible all-around film. There will be generations because of what you did. I didn't do enough. You did so much. Itzhak Stern is, next to Liam Neeson's Oscar Schindler, the hero of this epic historical drama. By law, I have to tell you, sir, I'm a Jew. Well, I'm a German, so there we are playing Schindler's accountant and working along with him to hire workers for his factory, Stern assisted in saving the lives of hundreds of Jews during the Holocaust. Oscar, there are 1,100 people who are alive because of you. Look at them. Nominated for a BAFTA in this Nazi-era flick that won multiple awards, Kingsley's performance here cemented his status as an incredible actor for our generation. The list is an absolute good. The list is life. Do you agree with our list? Which Ben Kingsley performance is your favorite? Now, I don't want to kick up a fuss. Right? Press charges, contact the British Embassy. I'd rather not pursue those channels, not my style, not a sort of a bloke. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You know who I am. You don't know where I am. You'll never see me coming.